Your Honor and Commissioner. My name is Beverly Findlay-Conecco, and I hope that today I'm coming from a knowledgeable as well as an emotional point of view. The reason why is because I am an evacuee from Japan in the wake of Fukushima. I know what it is like to sit at home and wonder where the radioactive plume is traveling and whether it's safe to go outside. Since last year's shutdown of San Onofre, my interest in this protracted and dangerous situation has grown. I have genuine concerns about how Southern California Edison's electric power monopoly uses funds designated for community outreach. My experience as an extremely concerned citizen seeking help and answers through local government has been that Edison's version of outreach involves heavily lobbying government officials and community groups. For example, they use specious materials such as an email blast just in the past couple of days to local lawmakers connecting to a propaganda video about grid reliability. In my own city, there was a conscious effort to circumvent public participation in local government on this issue. It is extremely disappointing coming from my standpoint as someone who is really genuinely seeking help from local officials. It's disappointing to walk into a city council meeting and see a council member that you have tried for months to get a meeting with glad-handing two members of the Southern California Edison PR team. Or during that meeting, during the meeting where the resolution is on the agenda, to hear yet another council member who has refused to meet with you again and again apologize to the Southern California Edison representative for causing her to postpone her vacation. Our ratepayer dollars are going toward polishing the tarnished image of Southern California Edison and currying the paper for nuclear power, not toward actual community outreach. As a customer, I would expect community outreach to include things like disaster preparation and awareness through the 50-mile zone that was required by our embassy in Japan. As someone who has first-hand experience with a nuclear disaster, I know that we are not ready for any kind of incident. And I also believe that we need a conservation campaign that actually reaches the public and doesn't get shredded with the rest of the junk mail. I encourage the CPUC to investigate these issues further. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Ms. Fidley. Thank you, Mr. Kaneko. The case is submitted.